All right. Hello, everyone. I believe we are on. I'm looking. Yes, we are. Hey, y'all. How are you? Go ahead and share. Let someone know that we are on. This is part two, and we are about to have a blast. All right, and would love for you to say hello to us. Let us know that you're here. I see folks coming in. Please share. Let someone know that we're on. And I am about to share as well. Let's see here. All right. Hello there, family. Hi there. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Okay, I'm going to share this out, and I'd love for you to do the same. Let someone know that we are on. It's going to be worth it. So. <laughs> <laughs> My wife a little nervous, too. I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. I'm, good. I'm good. All right. I think I got you. All right. I have one more to share. Thank you all for coming in. Come on in. About to get started. Let someone know that we are on. Would love for you all to share this out. Okay. I've done my sharing. Hello, family. Hello. Hello. Excited for you all to be on. Hey there. Happy New Year's Eve, Eve. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's where we are right now. Um, thank you all so much for being with us. My name is Trenace Richardson, and you have uh, enjoyed last week, some of you, and you've told some folks last about last week. And uh, my husband has been really diligent at communicating with those of you who have posted. And so... Uh, we are clear that we were supposed to be back with you this <laughs> week. And so we're so glad that you've joined us. If this is your first time, welcome to a <clears throat> Real Women Rock chat. And so uh, we typically do this with, uh, with women, having a sneak peek into a real conversation with real women. But we have the opportunity tonight again for the second week in a row to have my testosterone here, <laughs> my husband, my boo thing. I am just so elated to share this space with him because he always keeps it real. And um, and I, I'll go ahead and introduce you, man. We, we can get started. We got a lot to talk about. I know you have some things that you want to talk about. And so uh, my husband, Gregory Richardson, is the CEO and founder of the MTN Group, a consulting firm. He is the founder of Real Men International. He, I'm her husband, y'all. Yeah, that's, that's all, I know he is. But all he, that's important. Is you I'm, all of that stuff too, boo. Yes, you are. It's, I'm her husband and her father, <laughs> a proud father. Um, anyway, yeah, that's, I, what's, that's what's really important. I love that. What's, what's really important, yeah. I'm just trying to be better. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's good. I'm just trying to be better on purpose yeah. every day. That's good. Uh, some folks said it was a lot of wisdom and laughter shared last week. Uh, it's oh, cool. good to see us together in uh, this space. This is going to be fun, y'all. We never know what to expect from each other. We just, we don't do a whole lot of prep talk to each other. Absolutely. We're just coming on, ready to roll. We had our first conversation in full trans in full transparency about 15, 20 minutes ago. Yeah. So I want to encourage you, uh, if you drink coffee, get you a cup of coffee. If you smoke cigars, brothers, get you a cigar. I got water. I have a... Uh, have a glass of Voule. <laughs> um, that's free advertising, by the way. Voule. <laughs> we'll come back to you uh, next week. <laughs> all right. Thank you all so much for being with us. Uh, we have an amazing conversation in store because we started off last week talking about what men really want. And I put the spin of for Christmas time on it because <clears throat> oftentimes we're talking to our spouses or our loved ones, our significant others about what they want for Christmas. And I thought it was really nice to get an honest, vulnerable take from a man about what a man wants for Christmas, really wants. 
And I love that what you did was you broadened it past Christmas, beyond Christmas. And I think you said Christmas is every day if you make it. And so we're really just generalizing tonight. What we want is while Greg is sharing, while I'm asking him questions and sharing in response, if you have questions or thoughts, we will be checking the chat on a regular basis, looking for your questions and your thoughts. So really would love for you to engage with us. I love the, um, the conversation that's happening already. And, and talk to each other, right? If you see some comments that you really agree with, Let's talk to each other in the chat as well. So we, you ended it. You you gave us some really key things. Uh, a P three station last time. P three. And I know that um, that most folks who are on probably heard that. But I know that from that conversation, there were some things you wanted to pick up on. So I'm just gonna leave you to to kind of pick up on some things, and I'll jump in as I. Have oh. questions or thoughts? Is well, that look at you? Look at me. Hey, girl. I'm working it right. <laughs> working it, okay, okay. Um, so first, I just want to say thank you to everyone who uh, who shared comment and feedback last week. That was very thoughtful. Yeah. Um, and I was trying as diligently as possible to respond to every question or thought um, or comment. You did a great job with that too. Yeah. So oh, thank you, girl. Thank you, you did. Girl. I'm working on it, right? You're working on it, right? <laughs> so um, I just want to say thank you for that. And I want to encourage you to do the same thing. What I do want to do is just clarify a couple of things. Because mm -hmm. I watched the video again. And because you don't really know my heart, right? Mm -hmm. um, everybody that watched don't really know my heart. Mm -hmm. What I want to do is just get us grounded in some basic uh, precepts. That's fair. Okay. Um, so when, when we were talking about what every man wants, mm -hmm. um, I strongly believe that there are certain principles that are applicable for those that are in covenant, mm -hmm. right? That okay. are in a marriage mm -hmm. are slightly different than those in a relationship. Wow. Like those that are dating. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and there were quite a few questions that came in that were specific to well, I'm not married and I'm dating. Does this apply? Wow. So I just wanted to uh, dig a little bit with that. Okay. And provide some context. Mm hmm Okay. And some people have mentioned what the P3 station is. <laughs> so Do you want to clarify? Sure. So, so, let's, so let's just <laughs> review. Mm hmm So this is what every man wants. So first, I want you to think about when you were a kid, early on Christmas morning, mm -hmm. when you woke up. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting returned 52. So for me, it was Otis Redding playing Sam Cooke, mm -hmm. White Christmas, mm -hmm. um, Sweet Potato Jacks, good music. It was church Christmas was, songs in our house. Okay. <laughs> so so my, my dad had some eggnog. Okay. Right. Um, my brother, well, Alex, is, he's my nephew, but he's really like my brother. Yeah. Right. Um, and my sister, my sister, we'd all be in the living room by the tree. Just excited, yeah. right? More often than not, we couldn't even sleep that mm -hmm. night. And or if we did sleep, we woke up at the crack of dawn. Just the thought of getting these gifts for mm -hmm. Christmas. Mm -hmm. Okay? So I say that to say, just imagine if that was the space that a man had every day. Wow. Right? Right. So when I talked about uh, this is not what men want just for Christmas. This is what this is what men want. Period. So that feeling of what's 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 in store, just yeah, really just, having that that spirit of um, anticipation every day in a relationship. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah. So the the P three that every man wants is a peace of mind, mm -hmm. his emotional space, yep, his mental space. Right. This is where his heart is. Yeah. Where his heart is parked. Yeah. Right. Um, how his heart and his feelings and his emotions are being managed. Yeah. So um, a peace of mind, mm -hmm. not your peace of mind. A man don't <laughs> want a piece of your mind. Because, you know, we will give you a piece of our mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're not looking for a piece of your mind. Okay. You uh, you said a piece of mind. A piece P E A C E. Uh huh. A piece of mind. Not P I. 
P-I-E-C-E. Yeah, not a okay. P-I-E-C-E. All not right, a piece you, of your mind. Y'all can admit, we, we know how to give a piece of... Let me let me give you a piece of my mind. Uh, I got you. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, so a piece of mind. <laughs> a, piece, a piece of our mind does not create a piece of mind. Absolutely. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so a piece of mind. Okay. A piece of tail. Okay. Which is his sexual... Mm-hmm. space okay right? because men have physical needs just as women have needs absolutely and i really want to clarify some some principles as it relates to um, being single mm-hmm. dating and married okay all right okay. so you, you're gonna so get to I, that. I want to just kind of um land specifically for each of those buckets okay 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 what's the other one before you do that and then the other one piece of mind piece of tail and a that piece makes me of laugh. fish or chicken. And the food, right, it doesn't matter if it's fish or chicken. The idea is with a peace of mind, yeah. it's his it's his mental space, gotcha. his heart, his emotional space. Yeah. With a piece of tail, it's his physical energy, his sexual energy. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. And then with a piece of fish or a piece of uh, chicken. Or broccoli. Or broccoli. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> That represents his physical needs. Okay. Right. Sustenance. Yep. What you're feeding him. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and I'll just die. I'll just digress momentarily and just say, like, when we talk, and I'll come back to this when okay. we talk about more of a piece of chicken. Well, for context, I'm just going to say from here on out, a piece of fish, since I don't eat chicken anymore. Okay. So I've been almost a veg. I'm just doing chicken. I'm just doing fish these days. Yeah. Uh, for the last almost two years. You've been looking good too. Yeah, shut your mouth. I'm just saying. All right. Just saying. All right. <laughs> Let me taste the you. <laughs> so silly. So, um, so when we talk about a, a piece of fish, we're really talking about um, how diligent are you to carve out time to demonstrate you are trying to feed mm-hmm. your boo, right? And, and, and there's a difference when you're married and when you are single. Right. So I just want to just dive a those. little bit. Right. Okay. Right. And I would ask when it comes to any questions. Yeah. Right, I'm looking. And I need you to kind of, because I can't really. I got you. Between I this light you. and me not having my readers, it's hard to, to, to comprehend the comments. I got you, baby. But what I want you to do, what I would like the, our guests to do, is if you have a question, right, just preface it by saying you are single or you are married. Mm-hmm. Because that makes a difference. It does. And I want to make sure that. Um, what I share, and I'm being honest to who I am, I want to be completely true and organic to who I am as a leader, mm-hmm. as a father, yeah. as a husband, as a, uh, I used to be out in them, in them streets, as mm-hmm. they used to say, yeah. right? Uh, so I want to uh, bring in the totality of who I am with all of my experiences, uh, but more importantly, be clear on the points that I'm trying to convey. Because everything that I'm sharing is where I am now. Right. At almost being 52 years old, being married for almost 22 years. Yeah. To you. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So, um, I'm ready. Okay. So, so, so far, were there any questions? Not yet, but I, but I like that where you're going or what you chose to clarify on what, because we, those were the follow up questions. I'm single, right. I'm not married. So, when you say piece of tail, right. So that's, what are you referring to when you say piece of tail? Because it, the truth of the matter is, it's true whether a man is single or married. <laughs> but when you're talking to a woman who is in relationship with a man or who wants to be in relationship with a man, I think I, I know your heart, so I know that it matters to you whether the woman is single or married. Right. So do you want to clarify that first? Sure, sure. Okay. So uh, just in contextualizing last week's statement, when I was talking about um, a piece of tail and how that can breed intimacy, that was in the context. So first of all, the principle is true across the board. Mm-hmm. It could breed intimacy. Right. But let's deal with the presuppose. So the presuppose is this. When you're married, right? Yeah. Um, there is this covenant. And with this covenant, there are certain uh, principles. Yes. Right? So, every, like, nobody, so you and I have been married, and I love you. 
I and I you. think you are a phenomenal woman. Thank you. I mean, this woman is so gifted and talented in so many ways. But believe it or not, every now and again, <laughs> not not every day, but every now and again, she gets on my nerves. And Absolutely. I'm sure. Absolutely. And I know I'm a handful. Mm-hmm. I know mm-hmm. I'm a piece of work. Yeah. yeah. And I know I'm sure I, I get on your nerves every now and again. Every blue every moon. Blue. The, blue, the right. moon has to literally be blue. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. My, my point being, right, um, in in that space, yeah. Nobody feels like being married every day. That's right. Right. Yeah. I'm um, just like when you're dating someone. You can in any relationship. Yeah. It can be the dynamics with an adult. Yeah. In their child, their grown child. Absolutely. Girlfriends, your homies, your boys. Sometimes people just get on your nerves for yeah. whatever reason. Yeah. Right? And I, I just want to, as you're talking about this, I want to take a serious moment and just say that that is the natural um, inclination in relationships because we are two different people. Mm -hmm. It's how we manage those issues and difficulties and and getting on each other's nerves that makes all the difference in the world. But it's natural to assume we're not going to agree all the time. So we have to gain the tools necessary to manage our relationship. So we do get on each other's nerves because it's a real relationship. And it's, we, we couldn't be together for 21 years without that. I just right. wanted to add that. So um, let's just say if when in married, with married people, yeah. if there is no physical intimacy, right? And if you're getting on each other's nerves, I was what I was implying was yeah. that sexual gratification with each other can breed that intimacy. Yes. And then the question came up, um, the question came up was, um, what was the, what, what, was if, the what if I'm single? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, but, but it, it was... I, I want you to stay there for a second because I want to. I want you to really make clear because you said it. When you are married, a husband and wife, and you're not getting along, it is important to look at how often you are physically intimate. Absolutely, because Absolutely. that could make all the difference in the world. Especially what I heard you say and what I've experienced from you, from a man's point of view, there are some guards that come down. There, there is some some uh, vulnerability that allows that 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 is happening when there is physical intimacy between a husband Absolutely. and a wife so the marriage piece is re- what you said last week is true it is the physical piece can really just help with the other pieces right <laughs> you know so so that was the yeah. context right so now context. so now if you're single now here's where we have to put on our big boy and big girl underclothes yeah. and have a real conversation. Mm-hmm. So if you're single and we're talking about um, a piece of tail, yeah. it boils down to what you really want. Mm. And see, if all you want is penetration, mm. right? If all you want is penetration, mm-hmm. then that's all you will get. Oh, that's good. But if you're looking for more than just sex, yeah, Right. Yeah. And let's just say if your desire is to be with this person, mm-hmm. right, or or to be married to this person, yeah. But this person's conduct and behavior is not aligned with your core beliefs, your value system, yeah. Your goals, your dreams, your aspirations. Well, now you're faced with making a decision: mm. Do I just get penetration, mm. or do I tap into my purpose? And be true to who I am yeah. and what I want. That's good. Right. Because as a single woman, regardless of what your beliefs are. So let's start, you know, if you're a Christian woman, you start from a certain perspective. But regardless, just the practicality of it is if we, as when I was single, any single woman, when we lead with um, or or we give in to what do you want from me physically first, that's, that's what's going to lead the way. In the relationship is what I heard you say. I, and I would be very careful. Yeah. If, if women, if you're single, and so let's, let's bucket it out. If you're single and you meet a man mm-hmm. and you're just meeting this person and you don't know him from a can of paint and yeah. you're going out, um, if you lead with sex, yeah, that's all you're going to get. Wow. Right. Yeah. If you lead with sex, yeah. if you don't know what his goals are, what his dreams are, what his aspirations are, yeah. and you don't know that about you, right? Yeah. I mean, if you don't know how many brothers he has, just some basic stuff. Yeah. Now, if 
there's nothing wrong for people who just having sex. Believe me, I'm not throwing any rocks at anybody. Right. Right. We can't afford I'm, to. I, right. <laughs> right. Right. Um, so I'm not judging anyone. Right. Right. Um, but if you're if if your desire if your heart's desire is to be in a committed relationship yeah. and something that's going to grow and prosper, yeah. right? It may be mature into something um, that's robust and rewarding and satisfying to you. Yeah. Then it would it would be advantageous for you to be true to you. That's good. You got to be true to that's you. That's good, y'all. What do you want? Yep. Because right. I, because when I was single, I'll be honest. I think in my singlehood, I was more concerned as a single woman with this question: What do men want? Because I wanted to give a man what he wanted in order to be wanted. Mm. And I hear you saying that's not the right mindset. If all you want is so, if all you want is sex, and you leave with that, that's all you're gonna get. Right. It's very hard. So, so hear me. Hear me. It is very hard. To, to have a foundation based off of sex and then try to make it more than that. Mm-hmm. By that, I mean, you, you given the, you given away the whole entire cow, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, and with, without covering some bases, mm-hmm. right? Um, it's very possible. This man has no interest and desire in you in that regard because all he doing is banging you. Wow. That's all he doing. So now, we will bang you. Right. Men will give it to you. Right. Especially if you make it clear that's what you want. And nowadays, Ooh. this culture that we live in, yeah, it's all about I'm a boss, ratchet, bougie, all this, right. making this. I mean, all of this, right? Right. Um, women calling each other the b words. Mm-hmm. Um, we talked about W A W A P last week, mm-hmm. and I know y'all think that stands for worship and praise. It don't. Uh, <laughs> somebody asked me. Somebody asked me, what is W A P? And I told them they didn't believe Somebody it. asked you? Somebody asked what was WAP. Wow. Wow. So if yeah. you don't know what WAP is, just Google it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my, my, my point being, right? Yeah. Um, our culture is so different now. Yeah. Because social media um, and the internet, which can be good and or bad. So true. Depending on how you use it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, we have to get back to some basics. And it, that's why it's even the more important that we identify what I want. Yeah. What do I want for myself? That's good. For my life. Yeah. What is my purpose? What was I created to do? Yeah. What was I designed to do? Let me tell you why this is so important to me. And then we're going to come to some of your questions. I've seen a couple of your questions um, because this really was to pick back up where we left off and take some of your questions as well. Um, and it, it gives us some fuel to in future um, episodes with each other to also have some content to share with you. But I, but I think this is so important because I started this conversation because I really wanted a man's honest perspective on what you want. And what I've just heard you say is um, men have their own agenda, whether single or married. And it's important for us to be aware of that and know what that is. But as a single woman, and you can tell me if this is what you were saying uh, or if it was different. As a single woman, I need to be clear about what I want and come to the table with that, with that being made known as I am getting to know the gentleman that I have interest in. And then I know for sure as a married woman, I need to be concerned because it should be reciprocal. I need to be concerned with what you want as you are being concerned with what I want. Is well, that accurate? Well said. So you said the gentleman. Right. right? When you meet so let me let me just <laughs> add some context to that. Okay. So let me dress that up. When we talk about bosses, so so ladies and men, I want you to write this down. Okay. Um, because this is something that we talk extensively about at Real Men. Okay. Okay. Um, what I'm about to share with you, I promise you, if you practice this if you live by it, mm. I promise you, mm. you will see a favorable outcome. Okay. 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 Um, knowledge is power, mm-hmm. so they say. Yeah. Knowledge really isn't power. Knowledge is just now knowledge. Knowledge becomes power when it's executed. Applied. When yep. it's applied. Yep. Right? Mm-hmm. So, here's what I want you to write down. I'm writing it. Okay. Putting it in chat. So, um, here's the difference between 
a boy and a boss. Mm -hmm. Last week we talked about everybody wanting a boss. And I kind of said it in a way that was associated with music and all, yeah. right? Um, how people, everybody want a boss. And we talked about income, yeah, right, and mm -hmm. all of that. Y'all have to go back and watch part one if you haven't, but yeah. So here is what a real boss is. Mm -hmm. When a man or a woman is doing what's reasonable, what's right, and responsible. If a man or a woman, in this context, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to park it for men. Okay. If a man is reasonable in his actions and in his thoughts, in the way he lives his life, mm -hmm. if he's making right decisions, right, knowing right from wrong, and if he is responsible, and if he's checking off all three of those, yeah, that's a boss. Yeah. Now, it don't matter how much money you make. Mm -hmm. You made that really clear last doesn't matter. week. It doesn't yeah. make because there's some bosses. I know some brothers who are very reasonable in their intellect, yeah. in the way they think, yeah. who are living um, and being righteous, just knowing right from wrong, yeah. and making conscious decisions mm -hmm. to do the right thing, yeah. right, because of experiences, right, um, and being responsible. And here's what I, I promise you. It is hard, it is hard to do what's reasonable, right, and responsible. But if you could check that box off on all three, 99.9% yeah. .9 of the times, you will always find favor, yeah. you will always thrive, mm. right? And you will always land on your feet. Yeah. And Judge it, a person by their behavior, yeah. not their words. That's so good, so good. I, I wanted to get to a couple of questions sure. so that we don't go too far without addressing them. Um, some folks are agreeing. Um, it's a challenge, core beliefs and values. He'll have to wait for a piece of tail after marriage. Adv advocate for purity. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Uh, folks need to understand you will get what you are seeking if all you are, if that's all you're looking for. Absolutely, what you're looking for, you'll get. All right. So the first. So, so for whoever said that, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. What you're looking for, you'll get. Uh huh. So therein lies the question. Mm -hmm. What are you looking for? Right. So before you can even figure out what you're looking for, right. you need some quiet time to figure out what's your belief system. Yeah, that's Because good. your belief systems are a byproduct of your behavior. Yeah. Your belief system, what you believe about you or other people, plus your behavior, mm -hmm. right? So if I believe I should be financially free, yeah. right, and acquires, and I want to be financially successful, yeah. my behavior needs, I need to be saving some money, mm -hmm. managing my debt ratio. Right. I need to be doing something that's, good. that's aligned with the belief. Right. If you believe you, if, if your belief is you want to be healthy yeah. and fit, right, if that's your belief, then the behavior needs to be you are exercising, watching, you're doing something that That's you good. can measure. Yeah. Because what we believe plus our behavior equals our brand. Mm. We all have a brand. Yeah. Your brand is a byproduct of your presence. Meaning when you walk into a room, it's what people say or see. It's that bubble that pops up that they think. Right. That's a reflection of your brand. Yeah. Think about where you spend your money, right? As consumers, where do you spend your money? It's associated with the brand. Mm -hmm. you, in, that brand in your head is value to you because you're spending your money. Right. What we believe plus our behavior equals our brand. That's good. Thank you for that. So, Kita asks, they say men just know the one early on. Here we go. Mm. Do you believe? <laughs> Do you believe this to be true? And why do men usually wait later on to settle down? So they say men just know the one early on. And, and I mean, you can address even us. Per you, well, you addressed it last week that you were ready personally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so when a man just knows the one early on, do you believe that is true? I believe this, right, and, you know, Pardon me for my ignorance. I, I, I apologize. I do believe that a man can know the one. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and that can be very, very dangerous mm -hmm. for a woman. Wow. That can be very dangerous for a woman. How so? Uh, so I'll, I'll circle back to it. Okay. Um, for me specifically, it wasn't about the one. 
Mm. For me, it was about me. I've always said I want to be married when I turn 30. Because we've never, I think both of us are on the same page about this. We don't believe that there's one person out there that we are supposed to marry. And we got to find that one person. Do you believe that? So we, you know, we both evolve. So yeah. you and I, so in, in full transparency, we both had that conversation. Yeah. And kind of concluded that that was kind of almost a little weird. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. I would, I would have to think about it. If I was the answer right out the gate, it's, it can be dangerous for a man and a woman both ways. So can it happen? Absolutely. Yeah. Can it happen? Absolutely. Here's what I know. It don't matter if even if it is the one, when you get married, it's still going to be work. Right. It's exactly. still going to be work. That's all. Right? Yeah. It's still going to be work. Absolutely. Right? You're going to get out of it what you deposited. Right. So if I went to the bank tomorrow and try to withdraw $500,000, mm-hmm. if I haven't deposited $500,000, yep. I can't withdraw $500,000. Right. You get out of your relationships that which you deposit into them. Yeah. Um, so, and I believe everybody, if, if you're true to yourself, should have the desires of their heart. Mm-hmm. More often than not. We don't know what we want wow. because we get so caught up and so busy, right, um, into just working, paying bills, um, living, yeah. right? Um, and especially women, you know, who are nurturers, they take care of everybody other than themselves. Yeah. So I think, you know, that, that could happen. Yeah. For, for me specifically, right. it wasn't it wasn't really about you, even though you dropped dead gorgeous. I, I mean, this woman it. is so smart. She's intelligent. <laughs> I mean, she got a PhD from George Washington she University. She's working on it tonight. Go yeah. for it. I mean, this woman is so intelligent, and, and I admire so many things about my wife. But she's so gifted too, and talented in so many things. In lieu of all of that, it wasn't about her while, we, while I married her. Right. For her, it was about, I said to me, well, when I turned 30, the next good woman I meet, I'm going to marry. Yeah. It was about, I wanted to be married. Yes. I grew up with my mother and father being married. Mm-hmm. I was exposed to it in the totality of my life. Yeah. I know I wanted that. So for me, it wasn't about the person. Right. It was about the institution. Yeah. So it sounds like, it, to answer Keita and others' question, a man has to be ready. Absolutely. A man, regardless of what who the woman is, mm-hmm. a man has to be ready. Yep. And 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 so that gets down to her her asking why do men wait so long? So <laughs> so here's the truth. I think men wait so long um, because our we don't see health. We don't see like being married. We we don't see it socialized in a glamorous way. Right. Right. There's no images of successful. There are, but what I'm saying is. We just hear yeah, so much you hear about the people. Ball and chain type of yeah, thing. These negative comes. connotations yeah. and associations. Right. So oftentimes, and I even said marriage is work. Marriage is work. Yeah. Relationships are work. But here's a paradigm shift. What if you were working in your sweet spot mm. and you were doing that which you were created and purposed to do? Yeah. What God designed you to do. Mm. Well, now going to work would be fun mm-hmm. right now so for example i mean i've had some clients yeah that i've had that i was just tickle pink i was making money right and i loved consulting with them right uh, even some local i mean they're uh, tears of the fruit there's some organizations where i've consulted with where i love these i love what these organizations were doing right i love their mission right i love their cause i love what they were doing the people were cool yeah i'm getting paid so that was work so i'm saying all that to say what if your marriage if marriage is work yeah and you was doing what you love doing as work yeah well now there's that rhythm there's Mm -hmm. that sweet spot it's a it's a it's passionate and a burden of love and not a labor like it's a labor of love and not a burden is what i mean right so, so here's another, because we got a lot of them. Um, keep your questions coming. We're going to get as many as we can tonight. How do you communicate your needs without sounding selfish? And I, I want to add, mm. before you start, I, I, something came to mind when I saw this question, um, Paula, because um, we have, you know, I, I believe if you're going to be in any type of relationship, a professional relationship, if you're trying to work on any part of yourself, 
you need to go somewhere for development. There's mm. professional development, mm -hmm. there's leadership development. And so in marriage, in relationships, you should be going somewhere for development. And so we've gone to counseling and all those things to com continue growing and learning skills. And one of the skills we learned as it related to related to communication is to let each other speak and let each other have time uninterrupted. Mm -hmm. And so for that to become a mutual conversation where I know you deserve to be heard and you know I deserve to be heard, we, get, we establish that as the baseline first and then what you are able to share in that moment of uninterruption becomes a little more free and clear. You're you're more willing to share what your needs are if you know I'm not going to be you know jumping in with what you right. know that kind of thing. Right. And so, um, so I just wanted to add that piece that we need to first give each other space to communicate without jumping in and disagreeing and and um, and interrupting immediately. Would you agree? Um, yeah, and yeah, anything absolutely. else you'd add to that? How how do we communicate our needs without sounding selfish? I don't. You know what? I first of all, I want to. Uh, I admire the person for for asking such a um, private question. Yeah. Right. Because that's real. Yeah. I mean, that's that's real. real. That's really real. Yeah. Um, I'll say this. Right. I think that all of us are entitled to the desires of our heart. Mm -hmm. So and I'm you know I'm just all around purpose driven goal oriented yeah right so if that's your if that's a woman's desire I think that she has to be very strategic based on the man's makeup oh that's good right. hold on and, slow and, down slow down this is good and this is good and even to go a step further mm -hmm. if she's married or single. Uh -huh. Because this this the strategic initiative yeah. is going to be based on meeting the end state that she's looking for. Yeah, my my feedback's going to be based on what well, if she's married or if she's single. Yeah, right. So real quick, because because you just made me think of something when you said how uh, like how I go about doing it makes all the difference in the world. Because she asked without sounding selfish. I don't think it's selfish. So, but but how I come to you with it makes all the difference in the world. Because if I say, you know, if I have a whole bunch of roll in my neck, if I have a whole bunch of volume in my voice, and I'm telling you this is what I need, and you're not doing it, and I, in the midst of telling you what my needs are, I'm also downgrading who you are or what you do or what you attempt to do already, that's different than saying, I appreciate who you are and what you do already. In addition to that, this is what I need. I think that's coming from a totally different place and you would, Absolutely. Re you would receive Absolutely. it differently. That's, that's what I'm talking about. The, that's what I'm talking about. Being strategic. Right, right. right? There's no net gain or value into talking to any man. Any man. Nobody. Or truth be told, even to your peer, to, to another woman. Yep. In a manner that's degrading or disrespectful. Right. Old people used to say you can catch bees with honey. Yeah. Instead of lemons. Yeah. Right. So, like all of that, that tone, that posture, that demeanor, that net, all of that. <laughs> like you're not gonna get nowhere. And here's the truth. Here's the truth. If that's where you are, you have to do some soul searching to ask yourself. Am I truly satisfied mm. with me? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Am I truly satisfied so good. with where I am? Because yeah. if the answer is no, mm -hmm. well, now you need a different behavior yeah. that's aligned with your belief yeah. on what you want. And, and does, that make, does, yes. does, that, does that make sense? Yes. So if that resonates with anybody or if it makes, I just want to make sure you're tracking with me yeah. and that we're moving it in the right direction. If that makes sense, can somebody just put in the chat, yes, that makes sense for I hear you. Yeah. And it'll, we'll see it come up okay. as it comes up. Yeah. They said, thank you for that too. It's okay. coming and hearts and everything. Okay. Um, but the reason why I think that is so important is because as we move forward in relationships, we really got to be mindful about how we talk to each other and how we share with each other. It makes all the difference in the world. The, the, can I interject something? Yeah, please. So last week we talked about uh, when a man is mature. Yeah. Right. Or, or immature. Yeah. So I want to qualify that. When a man is mature, mm -hmm. if you're mature and he's mature, now you got two mature people. When two mature people 
are on the same page, you can accomplish anything, yeah. right? Yeah. So if one is mature and the other isn't, the framework for how you, how you approach it is really important. Yeah. So if a man is mature, yeah. I promise you, if he's mature, if he's reasonable, if he's responsible, if he's doing what's right, everything he touched that's associated with you is going is going to prosper. Mm, mm. Everything that he touched, mm. if he touches you, you're going to be better. Yeah. And the reason why, he ain't running no game. Yeah. Right? That's good. Uh, there's no game. Yeah. It, it's all about um, helping you grow, helping yeah. you develop, and vice versa. Yeah. Right? And it doesn't mean the relationship is perfect. What it means is that it's coming from the right place. Right. That intention and motivation is there. So you can always say that you're dealing with somebody who's your friend, who is for you and not against you. I and really believe, I really believe most women do not really understand the impact and the influence they have on men. Wow. Most women don't really get it. They don't see it. So back to what you said last week, right? Yeah. If a woman don't feel good about herself, yeah. Well, if, if you don't feel good about yourself emotionally, yeah. and I'm not talking about physically, yeah. right? If you don't feel good about your about about your being, yeah. the totality of your being, well, how do you expect a man to feel good about you? So if you don't? I, that's what I was going to say earlier because when I have come with any attitude or putting up defenses and trying to be strong and appear strong and have an attitude about it. It's because for many of us, we've either been hurt or we have had to build up this strength and this independence because we've been doing things by ourselves and our trust factor is low. And I happened to earlier in our marriage, bring that as baggage when you hadn't done nothing to me, it was it was well, it, <laughs> it was baggage I brought with right, me right. because of past experiences that I was holding against you. And so, for me to feel safe and vulnerable enough to bring the, all of that all of that loud and volume and attitude down, it was to know that you were for me and that your intention and your motivation was coming from the right place. Um, I I want to make sure we get to as many of these as, as possible okay. within our hour. So. Why do men lead a lead women on? <laughs> that is so good. Why do men lead women on? Um, why do they use women or take with no commitment? You know, and I know a woman asked that. I know a man didn't ask that. Question. A, a woman did uh, ask. Yes. So ask it again. <laughs> ask it again. Why, why do, do men, men lead, lead women on? The question is why do you let them? Ooh, so, slow down. Hold on. So, hold on. Hold on. Gain no gain. Hold on, slow down. So, because that one hurt, I know that hurt. I'm gonna give y'all a second. Okay, hold on. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, and keep going. So, I know it hurt, but it's the truth hurt. So, so I'm so just know I'm don't, my intent. Be unfiltered. I know my, you don't mean intent, to hurt. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. No, no, no. I don't mean hurt in a negative right, way. Right, I know what you meant. I, I meant you mean. I toes like, ouch. Okay. Now let's do it. Mm hmm. Go right. ahead and talk. And I don't know if this is messing up on y'all, but we're here. Go ahead. Um, so boys will be boys. Mm, mm, mm. Always will be. Just like girls will be girls. So Ooh. when, if, if, if I walk outside tonight and it's raining mm. and I get wet. Yeah. Well, you know what? I'm going to put on a raincoat. Yeah. And I'm going to know it's raining. Yeah. Now, if. The weather don't change, and I go back outside the next day. Yeah. Well, I'm not. And, and if they already forecasted a storm for three days, yeah. I'm not going outside looking for the sun. Mm. If it's already been forecasted that it's going to rain. Yeah. Right. So, if it walk like a duck, it quack like a duck, and it sound like a duck. It is a duck. Quack quack. Right. <laughs> so so here's the question. As soon as so here's Woo! this 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 is all truth positive. With judging a man on his get down, yeah, on his beliefs, his his behavior, right, yeah, on him being reasonable, being right, and being responsible, yeah, his behavior, judging him by his behavior and not his words. Oftentimes, men men will show you who they are. Yeah, uh, we, Malcolm X. Malcolm X said, uh, Malcolm X said in the early sixties, um, "Show me." 
don't let your words, don't let those pretty words, don't be, don't be so moved by these words of these people. Yeah. If you care about me, show me. Yeah. Demonstrate it. So now, if you get gamed one time and you're 40 years old, you should know game. And to be told, everybody got game. Yeah. Women got women got the best game. Here we go. No, women got the best game. Women he are women got the, the best yeah. game. <laughs> uh, all these guys out here, and I was a player. Yeah. I mean, I was, you know, mm-hmm. I was at the top of the game, right? <laughs> I was at the top of my game. But but truth be told, right? Um, and I learned my game from a woman. An older woman taught me my game. Wow. Right? Yeah. So my point being. It's really not about the person. Yeah. It's about why do you why do I allow it? So let me why just go there and, and maybe some women will be able to share um their thoughts about why they go there. Um but I I will speak for us for a second just to keep this going and and so it doesn't stop right there, right? Okay. So oftentimes a woman allows herself to be put in that position where she is taken advantage of by a man or a man leads her on because she is believing words and not actions. That that could be one. He says something and it doesn't line up with what he does. And she's putting more faith in those words. Is she married or single? Because all of that makes a difference. When you're she's single, single. She's single. So, so when you're single. She's single. So this is even more important. Yeah. When you are a single and you have to deal with those type of dynamics, with yourself yeah you you gotta have so now if if you so caught up on the notion of being with someone mm. just for the sake of having a man yeah and being sad being satisfied sexually yeah so a lot of women I mean if if <laughs> if you stuck on just wanting anybody mm. that's all you're gonna get is anybody yeah and if that body is not catering to your needs and they've demonstrated it multiple times is your responsibility as an adult to do better. Yeah. It's, it's your responsibility. Yeah. For the sake of your emotional sameness. Yeah. For the mo of your, your intellect. Yeah. For the, mo- for the, for the uh, sake of your heart. Yeah. Right. Why give your heart to anybody who does not protect it? Yeah. Who does not honor it? That's good. Right. Um, Be- Bessie said, "I think uh, uh, women need to ask more questions." I think women need to do whatever, wh- whatever you're wired, however you're wired, is is how you should operate. In no, because women are wired differently, just like men. Yeah. The key is that you realize you just can't come at a man any old kind of way. Right. 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 Like. So more often than not, it's not what you say; it's how you say it. Yeah, that's this, good. M- most women don't realize there's nothing that's how powerful. You say it. There's nothing as powerful as a woman's change mind to be better. Oh, women will change their hair, their eyelashes, their wigs, their weaves. <laughs> They'll change outfits. Yeah. They'll change their shoes multiple days. Yeah. Right, one outfit with two and three purses. Yeah. They'll, but when you make a decision to change your mind yeah. and think differently, yeah. be more centered and focused in what do I want? That's good. What What do I need? This is so good because it's flipping it. And even the title of what we're talking about, especially if you're single, but even if you're married, knowing being clear about who you are and what you want is just as if not more important than what the man wants. Because right. you'll come... To the relationship different if you know who you are and what you want. And if you single, right? Yeah. So if you single and you take all your pictures like this. Oh right? Lord. Here we go. You take all your pictures like this. <laughs> with your ass back at the camera. And, and you lead in with your ass. If you lead in with your ass, that's what men gonna lead with. Oh, I knew right? oh, I knew we were like, gonna have a moment. <laughs> I'm just I'm being that's honest, that's right? That's if good. that's it's what you truth. lead with. It's that's what you're gonna get. So, so you can't ex- you can't be surprised when the game come. Yeah. When when you taking pictures on social media and your breasts all up on the table, your butt all out, you showing all your goodies. I already told you last week how visual men are. Yeah. So if a man don't know you from a can of paint, and you mm-hmm. leading with big breasts 
or your tail, mm. right? And and now you surprised he giving you some game. Well, you playing the game. Mm, mm, you you put it out there. You are playing the game if we do it. I, I love it. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to get as many as I can. All right. So I truly believe that women should not give a man an ultimatum to marry because mm-hmm. when a man is ready, they are ready. Do you agree? Ultimatums. Ultimatums. So I can't speak for I can't speak for everybody. Okay. Of course, right? Right. I just just based on my experiences and mm-hmm. knowing what I know now, being almost, you know, fifty two years old, all of the experiences that I've learned. Yeah. Um, being half of a hundred. Mm-hmm. I think some men may need it. I personally don't I can't wrap my head around it. Right. Right. Um, Because it's like you're putting a man in a corner. So so, so let me tell you this, right? So I'm going to say it like this. I'm going to frame it this (laughs) way. You got to know if you're a giraffe or if you're a turtle. Wow. You got to know if you're a giraffe or if you're a turtle. Elaborate, please. So a giraffe and a turtle can be occupying the exact same space. Right. A giraffe eats on its level. Mm. You got to eat on your level. Mm, mm, mm. A turtle eats on its level. Mm -hmm. They occupy the exact same space. Yeah. Giraffes, by nature, with the longer neck, eat from the top. Mm, 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 mm. Turtles eat on the level that they are on. In the weeds, Mm. in the grass. Yeah. Got to eat on your level. Yeah. So now, if you know you are a giraffe, so this all goes back to purpose. Yeah. You got to know if you a giraffe or you a turtle. Mm. Here's the key. There's nothing wrong with either one of them. Right. But if you know you a giraffe, mm-hmm. if you know you're a leader, if you know you have vision, yeah. if you're goal oriented yeah. and you know what you want for yourself, yeah. for your life, yeah. right? For your entire being, right? Because you have vision and you're eating on your level. Yeah. What you cannot do is get tied up with a turtle. Yeah, yeah. A giraffe yeah. can lay its head down and talk to a turtle. Yeah. A turtle cannot get in, cannot get on the level and see that which the giraffe sees. That is so good. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's good because what it says is, it. this is going back to the same point, and for me as a woman, which is why we created Real Women in the first place, is because we really have to get comfortable and confident about who we are. And so once we are clear and confident about who we are, they're just, they're just certain things we don't stand for and we don't participate in that ultimatums. We don't want anybody who doesn't want us. Like we don't, we don't, we, we don't want anybody who doesn't, we, we may desire a relationship with someone, but once we find out you don't want me, Oh, I want someone who wants me. So, so he, I let, deserve. Let, I deserve someone who wants me. So let me interject so, and say this, yeah. right? Let's say a woman knows that she. If a woman is mature than the man, yeah. back to that whole entire maturity level. Yeah. And last week we talked about how women are traditionally just more mature than men. Yeah. So if the woman is mature than the man, yeah, and she's wise, right, and got some experience and the need for a belt, yeah, and she knows that by her approaching it this way Mm -hmm. that and because he may need to see you know what i might lose her he may Uh, need to see now if you're smart enough with the ultimatum with with the ultimatum okay all right right. ultimatum teach with the ultimatum okay so like in that context i can see it okay right so that goes back to a maturity level some men some men i know some i know some turtles who are with giraffes (laughs) don't make sense to me right don't make here you know what if a tur- if a giraffe lowers his head for too long mm. his 20 pound heart yeah. will not be able to pump oxygen to get to the brain that's good it will kill the giraffe mm. if he mm-hmm. leave his head or her head too long on the ground with this turtle yeah right yeah so it it all goes down to who you are what you want yeah right? that's good that's good 
I love that. I have to go back to a couple of questions in just a second, but I'll start with this. And this and this is under this this is under a piece of chicken right now. Eating <laughs> on your level. Yeah. Feeding like feeding your spouse. Because you feeding meant your figurative boot. and literal. So right. so right. for married people really you know, making sure that you put your spouse first, that you meet their needs, mm -hmm. but also on a figurative level, making sure that you are providing yourself what you need mm -hmm. in, in the relationship and articulating what your needs are. Well said. You yeah. the bomb that come, girl. No, you, you the, bomb, the bomb, baby. You the I bomb. You. So I, I'm looking for this question that I just saw. Um, I thought it was really key to, to, um, to go back to I'm almost there. You all put your questions in. We probably have about maybe five, ten more minutes left um, in this one, and we plan on coming back. This is what men really want, and it has been a flip conversation because I am really clear as a woman who has been single, who is now married to this amazing man, that I have evolved and grown and developed to the point where as I get to know me better, as I work on me better, I'm a better me. And as a result, we are a better we. Like iron we, sharpens iron. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Iron sharpens iron any day of the week. So um, how do we know if a man is guarding his heart? How do we know they are guarding their hearts? So if, if a man wants you, like, is there, I heard you just say, I think it matters that you just said that sometimes a woman standing her ground and saying, we have to, you got to pee or get off the pot, basically. Mm -hmm. Like, if you really want me, I deserve this. I don't think that should be in like four months. Right, right. Speak <laughs> right, to that. Speak right. to that. Yeah. Um, so no, let, let me, me plug this. Go ahead. No, no, let me let you, uh, let me, let me have you just qualify the question okay. a little more. So only that I'm asking for uh, a couple of, I'm combining a couple of questions that if a woman is dealing with a man that is moving a little slow or is not, doesn't seem or appear to be as emotionally invested, it seems like he's guarding his heart or he's not ready for as much as she's ready for. Like how does a woman deal with that? Or what might be a man thinking in that kind of scenario when he's trying to, he, to he, be very he isn't jumping on it because this is what this is the experience I've had with you. The experiences I've had with you is you made your 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 desire known with me very early on. You were clear about what you wanted, and and you articulated that to me very clearly right. early on. So I didn't have the experience where I was waiting, like, "Come on, man," you know, all of that kind of stuff. Yeah, so, as, as a matter of record, yeah. just as a matter of record. I told you if you weren't ready to get, I mean, to check me out. Yeah. So let me tell you when, when when your purpose driven. I told her to check me out. So we met June 24th. We got married September 24th. We married. We met. I told her on like day 45, like check me out. If I'm not like marriage material, I gotta let you go. Mm -hmm. Check me out to see if I check the boxes of what you're looking for in a mate. Yeah. And the reason why I'm trying to get married. I'm not looking for a girlfriend. I'm looking for a wife. Because I already know my life is going to be better, right? I think I'm a cool dude. I think my get down is pretty fly, right? I don't have a confidence problem. I was ready. Yeah. And I know, and I knew my life was going to be better. Yeah. The reason my life is going to be better, because now I'm not going to be out there hustling women, gaming, conning. All my energy and effort is going to be into my wife, into my family, into what we create. Yeah. So it's going to make me better. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So I think for that question, for that, for that, for that question, I think it becomes, I, I would need some more. I would need to have a little more. Right. Right. Um, I would need a little bit more. Like how long have you been? It sounds like you're dating, mm -hmm. right? How long have you been dating? Yeah. Right. This goes back to some core values. This goes back to what do you want? Right. Right. Are you a giraffe or are you a turtle? Yeah. Um, it sounds like, in this question, it sounds like one person is a giraffe and the other one is a turtle. Wow. I don't know who is who. Right. Right. Um, so if you've been dealing with somebody for, let's say, two years and y'all just been kicking it mm -hmm. and never talking about a future and then out the blue, you say, well, you know, I've been thinking about getting married. Well, wait a minute. You've been giving me the booty for two years. Right. We, You know, I come by here, stay. Woo! We have wild, good times. Right. I come and go, and more than likely, you dude, set just, a standard already for right. the relationship. And, and truth, no, just no, ladies, just no. Dudes who live like that, 
you are not the only one. Mm. Don't get it twisted. I promise you, you are not the only one. Especially if he making money. If he making money and he has the means to to live the way he want to live and to game you the way he wants to game you, the same exact way y'all do, right? Mm. Uh, So I would just need a little more information, yeah, right? Um, Because I think, like, the quality of the relationship, like, how long you've been involved, yeah, what have you been talking about? Have you been talking about marriage? What's the foundation of your relationship? Yeah. Like, did y'all meet in a strip club? Did y'all meet at a social (laughs) gathering? Did you, no, you, you see what I'm saying? I got you, like, yes. Did, did you meet, like, in the grocery store? Yeah. Or did you meet on webang.com? Yeah. Right? I yeah. think a lot of that kind of matters. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, so, so I think I would rather us leave wanting more. <laughs> 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 because there are so many questions that I did not get to. So just, I'm just curious, because you know I can't really, um, I don't think, for my readers. Well, what, so, what was one question you didn't get to? So one of my issues is that this doesn't go back far enough, and my phone died. Can you open your phone? And I'll do my best to give you one of them. Um, but one of the things you've been really good about is going back and having a conversation with folks after the fact. So I'm appreciating that. I know you're going to go back and have some conversations. But no, I can show you a couple now. No, so, I mean, just um, paraphrase. I'm just curious to see. I really wanted to to just kind of bucket out some of the differences, right? Right. Um, and, and here's the truth, right, as we wrap this up. Yeah. Um, all of us are building, right? We're building better lives for ourselves, for, um, for our families. We all need tips, tools, and techniques to help us in our building process. Yeah. Right? Um, as I said earlier, right, iron sharpens iron. Mm-hmm. Platforms like this are um, edifying. Mm-hmm. Sessions like this feed your soul. Yep. They feed you intellectually, right? Um, so I would en- I would encourage no, no matter where you are, be it married or single, just make a conscious decision to get some tips and some tools and some techniques to add to your tool bag That's good. to make your building a little easier. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Um, you still gonna have some. You still gonna have some some big rocks and some boulders. Yeah, right. You still gonna have some scrapes and all of that, uh, but it won't overcome you. Yeah. So what we plan on doing, um, and I I really can't, I can't pull up, but we're going to come back to, and he is very strategic about this, going back and making sure that he addresses questions. So I know we're going to go back and find the questions that were not answered and come back to them in our next session because we have decided to continue moving forward with these Mm -hmm. in the new year and just really having some real conversation with each other and with you all Um, about real relationships because the truth of the matter is whoever you are, if you're married, if you're single, if you're divorced, if you want to be married, that in relationships, we all need work. We all need development. We all need, as he's said many times, I am sharpening iron. We all need to be here for each other because then we find out I'm not the only one dealing with this. Like, And the questions that you have, somebody's experienced. And so in a lot of different ways, we plan on coming to you in the new year so that we can share with each other and learn and grow from each other. And it won't just be us sharing 